Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with She Cruises. Hope that you're having a great day wherever you are cruising in the world. This is the place where women who love to cruise come to get inspired and get information on the latest in cruise ideas. And our website at shecruises.com has got information on packing and um, art of cruising and different um, trips that I'm going to be doing and also some reviews and special offers. So please check out our website at shecruises.com. Now, one of the ways that people often are cruising these days is to take short mini cruises. And it's a perfect way if you haven't got a lot of time or if you only want, you know, three or four days away from home or from a job or other other, other things are keeping you in one place. But um, there's some really interesting um, opportunities. Now, you'd think that you could go out to each website for every cruise line and they would have a tab saying mini cruises. Well, it's not that easy. It's actually quite uh, more difficult to find these mini cruises. There are some groups, uh, some companies that specialize in it. And I'll give you the information it's actually in the article that I'm referring to but if you really just want a mini cruise let me just tell you what you know what the advantages might be well besides it being able to take a break and just go somewhere nice for three or four days you can actually uh, spend time on a luxury ship again, for a reasonable price and, you know, not have to spend those thousands of dollars that you'd rather spend on something else. But um, for example, Canard Line, you can actually take a short mini cruise literally from point to point um, or just three days on the Queen Mary, the Queen Victoria, one of the really beautiful luxury ships. And then there are some cruise lines that actually specialize or they, they do a lot of small, um, you know, short, short breaks. Uh, MCS is one that does some uh, around the Mediterranean and uh, from leaving from ports in Italy. And they're, they've got so many different options. You really are sport for choice. Uh, Costa also does a lot of um, uh, mini cruises and Saga does, does some as well. Royal Caribbean, there's all lots of different options. And in the article, I do give you lots and lots of links that you can follow and investigate. I will say, however, that when you're doing some of these luxury ships, the cost for three or four days can actually be a little higher than you might expect. But of course, there you know you're getting all the luxury of being on a, a fabulous uh, ship just for a couple of days, but you can expect the prices to be a little higher. But you can get some great deals, you know, under six, seven hundred dollars on other cruise lines and. So like I said before, some of them are point to point. You just literally get on the cruise ship and you get off at a point, um, two nights maybe, but some do stop. Like the MCS, for example, will stop, I believe, Genoa in Italy, and it will stop in, um, oh, I don't know, Portofino, or, or it'll stop in Nice or uh, Marseille, and then back around, uh, maybe go to Barcelona and back around. So you can get some really interesting variety. So you might be celebrating a milestone event. Maybe it's your birthday or maybe you're getting divorced, <laughs> whatever you feel, you know, you need to take a break from everything and just take two or three days to breathe. Mini cruises are a perfect idea. You can also use a mini cruise to take a friend who may not like the idea of cruising and just say, come, just let's just go for a short two, three days, two, three nights. It's not going to be a lot and you might just fall in love with cruising like I have. So that's another thing. You can take it to just test out a cruise line Maybe you want to take a cruise line on a longer journey and you just want to see what they're like. Every cruise line has a personality, right? And it has a, a way of doing things and a culture and decor that may be right for you and another one may not. So a mini cruise is just a great way to, to test it out. And again, I said, as I said that when you're pampering yourself, two or three days is sometimes all you need. And it can make all the difference in the world to your attitude to life and work and friends and, and, and just living. So it can sometimes be just a great way to get away and get a new perspective on, on life. In fact, cruising does this, in my opinion, but this still. Um, as I said, you can check out the certain um, cruise lines, see which ones you like and which ones you don't. And yeah, just, just, just try it out, ask questions, uh, test all the, um, all the amenities. And some of these mini cruises are just packed with really cool things to do as well. A lot of them, like I said, have shore, shore excursions. You know, they actually take you to places where you can get off and explore. And that way you can get a good idea of what they have to offer, perhaps on a longer trip. You can enjoy a less crowded experience. People tend to uh, you know, go on the bigger cruises, seven to 14 days, and don't think, uh, maybe don't know about a mini cruise. 
uh, you know, they're, they're, they're actually quite hard to find. So this is uh, going to be maybe a less crowded ship, a little less energy. You can just take your time and, and enjoy every little um, aspect of the journey. Um, so as I said, some go to, to ports, you know, several ports and you can enjoy them. So it's all, all good fun. Now, the other thing you can do is just test out all those uh, in, um, uh, entertainment and food offerings. And sometimes if you do that in a less crowded ship, you're not waiting so long for things. You can watch the, the um, entertainment in the evening in a more relaxed way. And there's just, just a great way to just get your, you know, your feet wet and enjoy that uh, cruise experience for a couple of days. Now, as I mentioned, um, there's France, Netherlands, Germany, Spain, Belgium, the Channel Islands. I've got Guernsey on my list, but all these places are, are destination points for mini cruises. And they, there's several sites that are dedicated to describing these mini cruises in a bit more detail. I think one's called Reason to Cruise and Cruise Nation, I think, has some good coverage. Cruise 118. Uh, Cruise Critic does some good uh, river mini cruises um, reviews, so you can also go there and check those out. But like I said, it's not just um, it's not just big um, ocean cruises; you could river cruises as well. But you know this better than I do. You are all cruisers and experts at this, so I'd love to hear your advice and your feedback on this. What do you? What have you experienced in the way of a mini cruise? Share with us some uh, cruise that you've done for two, three, four days that was just amazing, that you think other solo, solo travelers or other women travelers might appreciate and enjoy. Love to hear your feedback. So leave your comments in the section below. Let's have a conversation here and get to know one another and hopefully we'll meet each other on a cruise one day. It would be wonderful. Take very good care, everybody. Hope that you have a great uh, rest of your day wherever you are. And if you're on the high seas, let us know where you are. Tell us your story. Take very good care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.